What's going on y'all? So today we're going to be learning how to route between different components using React Router. We are going to be using the navbar that we built a couple of videos ago. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, the link to that is in the description below. And let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a components folder. So inside of our source folder, I'm just going to do component. And inside of here, I'm going to make five files which are going to be related to our uh, links right here, features, pricing, more deets, dank memes, and one file to host our navbar. So very simply, that's just going to be new file, and we're going to do uh, dank. Whoops. So here, let's do dank memes. Js. I'm going to do navbar. Js. I'm going to do pricing. Js. And let's do more deets.js and let's also do features.js. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the basic template of uh, what our uh, components are going to look like. So it's going to be import react from react. Now do const features. Oops, features. And I'm going to return a div that has a class name of app and so out of here I'm going to do an h1 that says features and right down here I'm going to export default features I'm just going to save that and I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to do the same thing for this one just change a couple of the text so it's just going to be more deets save that paste it in here change this to pricing save that and instead of here we'll just do nav bar save that same thing in here whoops dank memes now if you don't know how I'm just selecting all of them at the same time what I do is I hover over one and then using in uh, Windows it's control D to select every single one of them cool all right, so now we are going to import all of our components that we just built into our app.js file. So very simply, you can go inside of here, and I'm just going to do import dank memes from dot slash component slash dank memes. Now I'll copy this a couple times. There we go. And using Control D, I'm just going to change this to navbar. And this one I'll change to pricing. And we'll change this to more deets. And we're going to need one more, which is for features. So features. Save that. Let's see if anything broke. Nothing should break. Features is not defined. So let's go back into it. So feature.js is the issue. Features is not defined. Oh, right. We need capital F E A. T U R E S, I think that's the right spelling. Should be good. Okay, cool. Alright, so now we're going to move our navbar from our app.js file into our navbar.js file. So I'm just going to copy everything here and I'm just going to paste, replace everything in here. And we'll just get rid of these imports. And we don't need this. Actually, we'll just do another dot right there so we can get app.js. And let's import this into our application right here. So getting rid of everything from down here all the way up here. And just do navbar. Since we already imported it, it should work. And let's go back and check it out. Cool, so it works. So there's a link in the description below that'll take you to React Router's website. It's where we can install React Router and we can also see a basic example of how we can set it up. So I'm just gonna copy this right here and paste it into our application using another terminal. And let that just work its magic. All right, so now that it's done installing, I'm gonna go back into the documentation for React Router and I'm just going to copy this import stuff right here. Oops. Right there. And paste it into our application. And going back again into the documentation, I'm going to copy 
all of this stuff right here it basically is um one uh, half of it is the nav bar the other half of it is just switches to be able to go and route between urls and just paste it underneath the nav bar and so since we already have a nav bar i can just go ahead and get rid of what we have right here for their nav bar because we don't need it and get rid of this div down here we're just going to put this underneath right there and save it let's see what happens if it breaks or anything all right so about users and home is not defined because we don't actually have that so let's fix that so to fix this issue we're just going to replace all of our stuff with our own components so instead of having about users and home it'll be features pricing more deets dank memes stuff like that so i'll just do here features features and right here I'll do pricing and let's here let's do more deets what else are we forgetting we have dank memes as well we need to put in some dank memes so I'll just copy this right here and paste it and right here I'll just do dank memes oh whoops capital M there we go and the path let's do more deets here and for this one we'll do dank memes and if we save that now we should see that it is going to render properly there we go but it won't work because we haven't told it to go anywhere yet also we also need to render our component so right next to our path right here we're going to do component is equal to and just the name of our component itself so just be features and right here same thing component is equal to pricing same thing here component is equal to more deets same thing here component is equal to dank memes capital M there we go and now if we test it out manually if we go to let's say slash pricing we'll see that it works it renders our component all right, so now we need to tell our nav bar to route to our proper areas. So very simply, what we're going to do is inside our navbar.js file, I'm going to do an import. I'm going to import browser router as router and link from React router DOM. And so to make our links work, what I'm going to do is actually cover our uh, react.nav.link in links. So it'll just simply look like this. So just a link tag and cop, cut this and right underneath here, paste it. And so we're going to do a two is equal to slash features, F E A T U R E S. And if we try out features, we'll see that it will take us to features just like that. So we connect our nav bar properly. Let's do the same thing for all the other links. So very simply, I'm just gonna copy this and right underneath this link, paste it and make a closing link tag. And we'll link this to pricing, capital P, capital F. Same thing for those action heat separated link. We wanna do it for more deets. So let's do link, copy, oh, whoops, cut this out, paste it underneath here. Now we'll do two is equal to slash more deets. And down here, I'll do link, cut this out, right underneath Xia. And I'll do two is equal to slash dank memes we save that and let's try her out we'll see that we can go to pricing features more deeds and dank memes all right so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and learned how to route between different links using react router and if you have any questions leave them in the description below if you have any suggestions leave them in the description below like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one